All right, here is the thing. How we can do in order to fuse this mesh with this mesh? Okay, there's a really easy way. I learned it from a really skillful guy named Henry Churubanka. Uh, I was watching the Seabrush Summit of 2023 last year and he showed a little bit of a trick that uh, I think it will be very useful and I want to um, show it how you can do it. Uh, the thing is this, the topology between this shape and the shape is very different and uh, sometimes we get a mess trying to fuse those meshes with like boolean, with dynamesh, uh, whatever you want it and we have to make like a retopo uh, right after that well there's a way to fuse those meshes uh, it's a very simple one I just want to delete not this one but this one and uh, we will get we will try to put that cylindrical mesh on these faces and try to connect it in just a few steps there's a couple of requirements first in order to do it. We sometimes we have just a, one polygroup, and uh, we have to make it like different polygroups. In order to do that, I will make a group by normals that should make a different polygroups on each side, and I also have to turn off smooth on the divide part and I should have uh, a little more of an even topology between this shape and the shape that we will include that will be this in this case um, this is just a part of a poly cylinder that I just struck this one I just uh, put it here and I delete the rest of the faces and I was trying to create some kind of uh, insert uh, meshes in order to create a multi mesh insert brush but this one is the one that I will just use okay as you may see this have a little bit more topology than this one but after we divide it we will have uh, something like a little bit more even what we will do is try to insert uh, this mesh onto these faces uh, the the thing that we have to do is delete the subdivisions so we can have subdivisions in order to insert this mesh and right after that what we can do is to create a multi mesh insert brush out from this one so we can do this and right after that we will go back to our, your shape and we will insert this face onto this face trying to match it as close as we can maybe around here and we will just release the click and as you may see everything is masked we will just uh, give a click on control drag out and again we will drag out and this is the shape that we will get oh no um, and with C modeler now we can get um, for example Q mesh, and we can just drag out this shape, and now we can have a little bit of a clean topology in just a few steps. So really nice trick that I learned from the guy. And now what you can see is that you can have like a clean topology well maybe you have to just fix some things uh, let me see here for instance the, you have to connect this point with this point the same here same here and same here but the the thing is that you can have a clean topology in just a few steps and that's it thank you to mr. Sri Lanka for showing us this at least I didn't know it and that's the trick.